Well, good afternoon, everybody out there on YouTube. Mecca Madness here. Um, I've had so many irons in the fire, I have really gotten off the beaten path, and I apologize. So, first, um, my Kickstarter was successful, and I want to give everyone a massive thank you, everybody, including the local people that even supported other projects that I needed help with, including helping me move into my new house. I'm renting, and I'm happy. Um, Two, I want to start producing sets. Now that I have ample space and no nagging and arguments, I want to go ahead and start producing sets from my Kickstarter to sell for people to pick up from my eBay store. Three, I want two more printers, and that'll be an after Christmas project, along with two more Raspberry Pis. Um, I know with COVID, everything got massive expensive, and, and I lost one of my pies in the move, and I'm pissed off about it. I got two. They work. Not complaining. So, now I'm going to do another Kickstarter for a smaller set of buildings, and I'm going to call it my outpost set. So, I'm going to build a wall system. I have one I need to finish. And that's where it's going. Um, then I'm also going to do... Um, I don't know yet, but let's just call it the Outpost set from Mr. Sinister Studios. And last but not least, the Battletech campaign. So with the Battletech campaign, I wanted everyone to know it's not just locally based. You can be anywhere in the world and want to play the campaign. Um, the campaign is going to use the um, Chaos Total War campaign system. So basically... Mercenary units that are alliance based start off with 750 to 1,000 points. Companies start off with 1,500. And you can play as many games as you want, depending on where you are in the universe. For example, and this was a really big question, it was a great question. I'm on a planet and I just did an objective raid. Um, what do I do next? And I told the player, it's like, well, your contract says you're done and you're leaving. What happened? Oh, well, roll on the random event table. Okay, your dropship stolen by local pirates. Is the employer paying me to fight the pirates? No. Is the local government going to interfere with me killing the pirates? No. Can I get all the salvage? Yes. What, what happens if my dropship is still on the planet? You can leave. What happens if they leave the planet? You can hire someone to follow them to get your ship back. It is completely up to you on how you resolve it with your local game group. All I need are your mission costs, objectives completed, equipment lost, repair costs, and when you're going to arrive back on your contract hiring world. That's it. Your mercenary hall plan, I should say. So again, just wanted to remind people, Mega Mech is an option, HBS Battletech, multiplayer is an option, Mercenaries 5, multiplayer is an option, any of the online games, including Solaris 7, if you're doing a private match on MechWarrior Online for a mission, I'm all about it. Salvage is going to be kind of hard, though, with MechWarrior Online, because they don't give you a count of what's left, so I'm just going to generally say anything MechWarrior Online is scrap. Unless you know it's a clean headshot. And you can prove it by video. So, again, just wanted to let everybody know, you do you. I'm just running the campaign for people that bought into the Battletech Kickstarter or are new to the Battletech universe and are hesitant about going all in. I'm so far and I can't remember how I got started sometime. So, definitely want you all to enjoy the universe, play your games, give me the Cliff Notes version so I can keep track. So the next project is that I need a universe map 3047 or overlay map that I can take and get a draft print and then I can start tracking your units. So I don't mind buying um, thumbtacks or push pins that are colored to track your units across the unit sphere. All I'm asking is I don't have all the time in the world because yeah, still a new job, still a new school. And sometimes I go home and go to sleep. Give me a couple days or a week to get your contracts done. That's why I made the generic contract list. Just tell me what you want to do. 
Now that I know, I can have your forces ready, schedule, and play. If you're local in San Antonio, awesome. I'd love to come down and get a game. If you're in New Orleans, it has to wait till Christmas break when I'm off for two weeks and I don't have anything to do if I have enough money to go. Definitely spring break. But all in all, life is good. Thanks to everybody that knows me personally or just leaves a comment. Please drop a comment. Let me know what, what series you want me to continue. I personally love trucks, and now that I know I'm getting 12 from somebody who figured out how to make them for me, I'm excited to run my super evil rebellion force on multiple planets now since trucks are so cheap. But again, if you need um, Alpha Strike list building challenges done, drop a comment on the list you want me to build. What era, what forces, what faction, clans, intersphere, mercenaries, border blade. Don't care. Challenge me. I like to talk battle tech. I really want to do another interview with the FA War Games. I do like the alternative damage system where every point of damage your mech does is a separate roll. It does give you a little bit more the crunchiness of, and grittiness of classic battle tech, which is great. But again, I do it because I love the game and I love the people I meet and I love the conversations and the jokes and the memories and, and the crying when dice go wrong. So with that, have a beautiful day. I'll update contracts again. Next project is mechs that are available for sale. Talk to y'all later. And always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out.